So hey guys, what's up? In this video will be installing Flutter with Android Studio. We'll also look into how to install this emulator and how to make things work correctly and there are a lot of tiny steps. So make sure you watch the entire video carefully and let's just get started. So firstly let's just download the Android Studio, for that we'll go to the official website for the Android Studio, just type in Android Studio in your search bar and hit enter. Just go to this website that is developer.android.com slash studio and there's this website. So there are a lot of things given on this website about what the Android Studio can do and what are all these features, APK analyzer etc etc. But for now, let's just go ahead and download this Android Studio setup. Let's just acknowledge this and accept these conditions and download. So once we have the thing downloaded, let's just go ahead and install it. Just hit next and next and next and install so as you can see the installation process has been finished and hit next and start the Android Studio there it is so as we are seeing, it requires some additional downloads, so make sure your internet is turned on. Hit next and it requires some additional components. So let's just quickly go ahead and download and install these things as well. Hit next. So all the downloads and components have been installed correctly and let's just hit finish and paste or Android Studio. So now in order to work with Flutter in Android Studio, we need to install the plugin. So let's go to configure and select plugins and search the store or marketplace for Flutter plugin. Hit install and it will install a third party package and yes, install that as well. Install. Once it finishes the installation, we'll just go ahead and restart the Android Studio. So let's just wait for a second. So yes, it has given the option to restart the ID and hit restart. Now once the ID restarts, you should be able to see a new option here. There you can see, start a new Flutter project. Just click on it. Now here comes the really important part. So make sure you are paying attention over here. You will have to set up the Flutter SDK path in this Flutter SDK path option. So just go to the, your Flutter SDK which you should have already downloaded or if you haven't just watch this video coming up where I have explained how to download and set up the Flutter SDK. Once you have done that just go ahead and click next. Now as you can see our project has been started successfully and here is your sample code. Now in the next step we are going to install the Android emulator. So just hit this AVD manager option right over here. Create a new virtual device and select the smartphone or the device that you want to create your virtual device. I am selecting Pixel 3 over here. You can select any device of your choice and hit next. 
choose the version android version r q pi oreo etc and hit next it will download a few files so let it finish so as you can see the download has been finished and if we select this image that we just downloaded and hit next we can set the device name over here and some configuration you can also change them later so yeah don't worry just hit finish once you're finished the you have uh, installed this emulator and you can just launch it and here is your device google pixel 3a that we just downloaded and if we just and you can just select this option right over here and hit run once you hit run it will do all the flutter will do all its things and compile or do all those stuff and here we have our demo applications up and running on our freshly installed emulator so yeah that's about it so make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe for more content